Berlin's busy shopping mile, the Kurfürstendamm, there's English everywhere you look. Germans who don't speak English must be feeling pretty confused. And according to statistics, they're one third of the population. The advertising industry doesn't seem to care. The assumption is that the important target audiences can speak English, and they're not too worried about everyone else. The German ad campaign for smart cars, for example, uses the same slogan as the US campaign. Open your mind. Uh, the slogan is open your mind. It's always a moot point whether the target audience actually understands the message the company is trying to convey. In this respect, it's up to the companies to decide how they structure their advertising campaigns, which language they use and what form it takes. This is the prerogative of the companies. But many German politicians like Wolfgang Bernsen disagree. They don't want to see large sections of the population simply excluded. He's a big fan of the German language and thinks it's time for Germany to start resisting the spread of English throughout every sector of society. To put it mildly, I think it's arrogant to concentrate on just a few target groups. The business community needs to cultivate certain linguistic standards. It's part of its responsibility to ensure the public is informed and understands what's going on in their own country. And to simply ignore this is unfair, plus it contravenes the Constitution. Many major companies accept the criticism. Porsche, for example, was named Guardian of the German Language 2008 because the company supposedly sticks to German only. But a quick look at the Porsche website tells a different story. It's riddled with English, from references to investor relations and corporate governance, and even a Porsche travel club. No wonder many Germans are confused. The Chancellor experienced the problem firsthand at a recent school visit. I recently paid a visit to a school in Westphalia, and the teachers proudly presented me with what they called the assessment reports for the students. It was quite a surprise. So we sat down and tried to figure out what the German equivalent would be. Needless to say, there is a perfectly acceptable German equivalent. Merkel told her audience the English invasion needs to be stopped. If we want our language to remain robust in the 21st century, then we should tell the business community that it's good to use German in their dealings. Otherwise, students of the German language will think it consists largely of anglicisms, and there'll be a serious danger that they simply won't bother continuing with their studies. Politicians are especially annoyed when state-owned companies, such as Deutsche Bahn, start using anglicisms. The German rail network still belongs to the state and receives taxpayers' money, so the least it can do is speak their language. Right now we're talking with Deutsche Bahn, and we hope to reach agreement. Otherwise, German consumers will continue to be confused. They don't know that McClean means toilet, and if nothing is done, we will have to introduce new legislation. In fact, German is the most widely spoken language in the EU. 100 million people in Europe speak German, and there are 120 million German native speakers around the world. A bit of pride and tradition would do us all good. Language is what we use to communicate. Language is what we use to navigate the world. And we are better off doing this by using our own language than a foreign language. For now, Germans have little choice but to keep guessing. They may be relieved to know that some anglicisms are confusing even to native speakers. What on earth is a divided guy section? <laughs>